Did you ever consider that future human civilizations travel back in time to reshape history? How would you know? Is it possible that history is constantly being altered and the consequences to this is that we shall never know till we reach the level of understanding hundreds of thousands of years into the future. In 1905, Einstein changed the course of history with his publication that space and time are one and his theory of relativity. How did he come up with this idea? According to Einstein, the idea suddenly came to him in a surreal moment while staring at a street lamp. Is it possible he was somehow given this idea deliberately? Einstein realized that if you move faster, the ticks on your clock actually change. Prior to Einstein, no one understood that or would have even expected that because it only happens when you get very, very close to the speed of light. Think about this for a minute. There is a way within the laws of physics to travel long distances and still be alive. And that actually is related to special relativity and the idea that if you can travel close to the speed of light, time will slow down for you. In this sense, if you could travel very near the speed of light, only a day or two would pass for you compared to years elapsing on the earth for everyone else. You could see the future in exchange for your present. Would it be worth it? Wait till you hear this. What if you could travel back in time through an interdimensional space-time portal? What if we could influence not only past events, but see how the future evolves? Many believe there are answers that can be found in the ancient Indian epic text within the sacred Indian text thought to have been written around the 8th century BC. King Revata is described as traveling to the heavens to meet with the creator god Brahma, only to return to earth hundreds of years in the future. Some researchers believe this Hindu tale may be one of the oldest records of successful time travel in the ancient past. But how is that possible? The story goes that King Ravata is taken into space to see the gods. And when he returns to the earth, he finds that many ages have gone by. In fact, hundreds of years have elapsed on the earth. This is the kind of thing that would happen to space travelers and in time travel. You think you are gone for only a few days, but when you return to Earth, you find out that you have been gone for hundreds of years. Doesn't that just blow your mind? Similar tales of time travel can be found all around the ancient world. In Japan, the legend of Urashima Taru details a fisherman's visit to the protector god of the sea in an underwater palace for what seemed like only three days but when he returns to his fishing village, he finds that it's been 300 years that he has been gone. His house is in ruins, derelict. Everybody he knew is long dead. No one remembers him or his family. He simply vanished and reappeared hundreds of years later. Could Urashima have traveled through some sort of portal here on the earth? Tesla too was obsessed with time travel. He worked on a time machine and reportedly succeeded, saying, I could see the past, present and future, all at the same time. In 1895, he almost killed himself while messing about with magnetic forces. It is thought he artificially created a magnetic field which he entered and could see history unfolding in every order, past, present, and future. He discovered that space-time could be altered and allow us to enter a different realm of reality. The idea that humans are able to travel in time has captured the imagination of millions around the globe. If we look back at history, we find numerous texts that can be interpreted as evidence of time travel. Considering the scientific advancements from the last century alone, might it be possible for future humans to have discovered the ability to travel in time? 
Are they, in fact, the so-called visitors that have been recorded throughout the centuries? Or are they otherworldly aliens who have mastered travel through both time and space? Perhaps the answers can be found not in the present, but in the ancient scriptures and texts that document so-called mythology. Of course, there are a number of modern experiments involving time travel, but have we yet actually discovered the sacred hidden ancient force? Who knows? In the words of the great Nikola Tesla, it is paradoxical yet true to say that the more we know, the more ignorant we become in the absolute sense. For it is only through enlightenment that we become conscious of our limitations. Precisely one of the most gratifying results of intellectual evolution is the continuous opening up of new and greater prospects. What do you guys think of time travel? Comments below. Thanks for watching.